Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. It's uh, certainly an exciting day. Before we get started, there's a few special guests joining us that I'd like to acknowledge uh, here this morning. First, uh, Ulster County Executive Michael Hine. Hey. Kenneth Ronk, Chairman, Ulster County Legislature. Hector Rodriguez, Minority Leader, Ulster County Legislature. And Richard Gerentine, Ulster County Legislator and Chairman of the Board of Commissioners for the New York State Bridge Authority. And Michael Warren, Supervisor, Town of Marbletown. And of course, of course, Governor Cuomo. Governor, it's great to have you here this morning. It's a pleasure to be with you today as always, sir. You know, your leadership in rebuilding our state's infrastructure has really been, let me say, nothing short of extraordinary. You've challenged us. You've made it clear that the Department of Transportation should not hesitate to ever take on ambitious projects. And there's so many examples of what the Department of Transportation is doing across the state. New York State is making countless investments in our roads and bridges to revitalize these critical pieces of our transportation network, all as part of a historic five-year, $27 billion Department of Transportation capital plan that was secured by Governor Cuomo, with the vast majority of that money for upstate roads and bridges. And the plan, ladies and gentlemen, is already paying off. Our state's infrastructure, the bridges, the roads, rails, and airports, not only to keep New Yorkers moving, they are ensuring that our state and that our economy keeps moving as well. The economy is dependent upon transportation, and this governor knows that. Today marks another significant milestone for upstate bridges and for our state. It's now my honor to introduce the man responsible for leading the way, our governor, Andrew Cuomo. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, first, to County Executive Hine and the uh, local officials, it's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, to the team at the Department of Transportation that has done a really phenomenal job all across the state. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Commissioner Driscoll has done a great job at the department. I don't think there's been a period of time where the Department of Transportation has gotten more work done than it has under this commissioner. Let's give him one more round of applause. So we're here to blow up a bridge. Life, <laughs> life is tough when you're a bridge. You work for 85 years, stand up through storms, rain, carry vehicles every day. Then at retirement, you don't get a watch, you don't get a pension, you don't get a thank you, all they do is blow you up. But uh, this bridge has done great service. Uh, 85 years, uh, we, we do need a new bridge. It's going to be a better bridge. It's going to have better views. There'll be less steel superstructure on the bridge. There'll be a pedestrian pathway on the bridge. Uh, so it's going to be a better bridge, but it's also going to be a safer bridge. This bridge still had wood piles, believe it or not. Uh, and when you have the challenges to uh, the, uh, the, the structures that we've had with these storms of late, it's very important that the infrastructure is uh, safe. As the commissioner said, infrastructure in New York was neglected for a long time. People take it for granted. It's boring, it's not sexy, you know, roads and bridges, uh, but it's vital. It, the, the roads, the bridges, the transportation facilities, they are the arteries and veins of our economy. That's how you move people, that's how you move goods. And if you overlook the infrastructure, you do it at your own peril. Clearly, uh, you're gonna, you can see it with roads and bridges but even airports, rail stations, et cetera. You look at what has been developed across this country, across this world, it's much more sophisticated than what we have in New York now. And at one time, New York had the best. You fly into airports around the world, and they are really spectacular. And then you look at our John F. Kennedy Airport or our LaGuardia Airport, they're just not what they should be. So we have undertaken the most robust, 
construction program in the state's history. And we are proud of it. New LaGuardia Airport, new JFK Airport, new Tappan Zee Bridge, new airports across upstate New York, safer roads, safer bridges, and it's going to make us a stronger state. Uh, now, we've been alone in this pursuit for a long time. Uh, it's good to hear the news from Washington now that the federal government is talking about investing in infrastructure because the state has been funding it all along. We have another $2 billion in this year's budget for infrastructure. But the Senate put out a plan yesterday in Washington, $1 trillion for infrastructure. President Trump has said that he wants to invest in infrastructure. I spent uh, time with him myself talking about it. That is welcome news to us here in New York. And what we want them to hear in Washington is if they're going to invest money in this country in infrastructure, they should invest in the states that can actually get it done, right? Many times in the past, the federal government has taken money and said, well, we're going to move this money to stimulate the economy. And they move the money to the states and the localities, but the states and the localities didn't spend the money quickly enough, so the money sat on the shelf and nothing really happened. That is not the case in New York. We promised them if they are ready to invest in the infrastructure, we are ready to build. And they have my word, we will build better and faster and safer than any state in the United States. So if this federal government wants to invest in infrastructure, New York State is the place to do it. We have a track record, we have the experience. Tappan Zee Bridge was uh, one of the largest infrastructure projects in the United States. And it's on time, and it's on budget, and it's long overdue. So. I hope the federal government gets the message. I hope they invest. And we are ready to put that money to work. And now we are ready. Cross our fingers. A plunger looks a little scary. <laughs> we spent $2 billion. You think we would have bought a new plunger? But we have confidence and we have faith. Uh, and if it doesn't work, it's uh, Mike Hines' fault. I just want you to know he was in charge of the plunger. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, all right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to step up to the plunger, uh, and then we'll have a countdown. We're going to ask you all to join in, and the governor and the guest will implode the bridge. <laughs>